Right, and like I said, I'm gonna set him up down here. Yes, this is my grandma grandpa's basement. And you're probably thinking, oh, Halloween room is coming back. No, it's not. Not not in here. Because uh, my grandparents are moving out of this house October 21st. So yeah, still very empty. <laughs> that room echoes. That room didn't echo when all the Halloween props were in there. Okay, well, I'll set up the swinging scarecrow first. This was the last one that was brand new, too. and stuff in it hopefully this one works hopefully a wire doesn't pull off his mouth Oops. and I'm gonna be using these zip ties for pumpkin nester because he doesn't have the screws because that one was the store display in 2014 You guys probably can't see how I'm doing this. Oh yeah, not at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, I gotta put a screw, the lawn one through there, and the, the, this white piece screws into that one. Where did the screwdriver go? Okay, so I'm gonna do that quickly. Ugh. These used to be so challenging for me to put together, but now I've done these swinging ones quite a few times already. I'm so used to it. Because I... Yeah. I set up two of these at the store. And then the, the uh, pumpkin ester in 2014. I didn't set up the pumpkin nester in 2013 right. I... Like, com I completely messed it up. Like, I, I cut some of the hanging rope off accidentally because I didn't know it was part of the theme. And so it didn't hang down very low. And I did 
something else. I think I don't know what it. I think I zip tied it, but that's what I have to do with that one because, like I said, that one doesn't have the screws. Okay, well, this body is on. Now we just put the head on. Now we need to hand it and plug it in. <laughs> the reason I'm getting the big swinging ones and not, is, and not the little ones is because the little ones have to actually hang on something that allows them to swing. Like these ones don't really swing so they can hang, but I always felt like they'd be too heavy and they'd uh, take our ceiling down, so that's why I never got them in the past. But I wanted to try them out now. Okay, I'm going to quickly put it in the spot in here. adjusted. I know you guys are seeing nothing, I'm sorry. Oh god. Well then. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pause. Okay, I'm afraid it might fall down from here, but I hope not. He looks really cool here though. Jeez, nice open space. Plug him and set a pumpkin nester. Um, so yeah. This one has to be zip tied. It won't have the screws in it, so it might not swing. It, this body might not jerk as well as it should. But that's not because it's broken, it's just because it's not, it doesn't have screws through it. It's zip tied inside. But I'm sure it'll still work fine. I'm trying to find the zip ties. <laughs> oh, yeah. Someone who took this down in 2014 put these stakes in there. <laughs> I kind of strange. And I'm trying to find the zip ties. Wait a second, I gotta pause again. Well, I have no idea where those zip ties went, so what I'm gonna have to do instead is twist tie it. <laughs> That's weird because they were just right there. too well. <laughs> Sorry about this.
works out a lot easier than the other one. <laughs> The feeling that eventually they will come off but it just needs to be on until I find zip ties or something yeah because I know that those zip ties will reappear some somewhere <laughs> okay time to hang him up Okay, well, Pumpkin Nester's design is quite a bit different than the Swinging Scarecrow. See, he has two hooks, so you can adjust him really well. He only has one hook, and his adapter is different. He was the first large Swinging one made, though. Uh, Yeah, the mouth works great on it, but I don't know for how long since it was a store display. So, yeah, there are the two swinging ones. Well, then the witch is coming soon. Why do I have this stupid grin on my face? It's because they scooped out all my brains and made pies out of them. Enjoy your dessert. See, what I like about him is that he's really loud and you can really understand what he's saying. It it gives him great personality. That's that's why that's I like him. Pretty face you have there. It'll look even prettier decorating my porch with a candle in your mouth. <laughs> Hopefully I can find a way to hang these in my trees for Halloween, maybe. That would be cool. I mean, with him only having one hook and his ropes are actually not very long. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it. But all I'm sure I can find a way easily. So yeah, that's it for this video. More coming soon. Stay tuned.